Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a new stack from SpeedyB. We have SpeedyB V3 stack. Now before I begin this video, I would like to tell you guys that there are already a lot of videos out there. But in this particular video, we'll be critically analyzing the stack and trying to understand if it's worth the deal or not, or is it another hype train? So without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Now let's see what we get inside the packaging. We have a XT60 cable, a DJI A unit cable, then we have three packets. The first packet contains the hardware. We have some extra rubber grommets, then we have some Allen screws, a low ESR capacitor and some silicon spacers. Then over here we have various kind of camera cable and this packet contains all sort of extra cables which we will be requiring for a flight controller and then over here we have 4 in 1 ESC cable now let's take a look at the stack height now stack height is pretty much average because of the heat sink which they have used and these connectors underneath the FC so in case if you are planning to build a slam build you might have to look at some other options but for rest of the application this stack is perfectly fine now if you're gonna look in the front we can see there are some cutouts now these cutouts have been given in order to prevent your FPV camera from touching into your flight controller and thus preventing any kind of vibrations being transmitted onto your flight controller and now from this point we will be looking at the flight controller and ESC separately now let's take a look at the ESC now ESC is rated up to 50 amps and if we're gonna flip the ESC we can see that it is having a separate logic board now having a separate logic board is going to give you a very good performance out of this ESC now the MCU which they are using is R3 Tech F421 MCU now this is truly a F4 MCU and having a F4 MCU gives you as high as 128k PWM frequency so in case if you want to run the highest PWM frequency out there you can simply do that without any issues now the capacitor which they have supplied is from Chenzing. now Chenzing is a Chinese company and the capacitor which they make aren't of the best quality so in case if you have some other capacitor especially from Rubicon or Panasonic I would recommend those for this particular capacitor and now let's take a look at the FC now this flight controller is rated up to 6s and if you're gonna look over here we can see we have a barometer now this barometer can be configured in the better flight if you want to use the altitude hold feature and if you're gonna look over here we can see we have these four leds now these four leds are there to indicate the battery percentage now it is having 25 percent then 50 percent 75 and 100 percent and over here we have these four status leds in case if your flight controller is powered then it will gonna give you a red LED then if you come down then we can see we have a green LED now green LED is indicating the Bluetooth functionality now Bluetooth functionality can be indicated if it's blinking then it means that the Bluetooth is not connected and if it is a solid green light then it means the Bluetooth is connected then we have another LED and that LED is connected to the better flight now that responds according to the code of the better flight then we have the fourth LED and the fourth LED is the orange color and it indicates the LED mode now over here we have this button now this button can be used to switch between the better flight LED mode and speedy LED mode and if you're gonna flip the FC over we can see we have a huge black box memory flash chip now this is rated up to 500 MB and when compared to other flight controllers in the market this is really a unique feature and over here we have a BMI 270 gyro and then there are some of these extra connectors now these can be used in case if you want to make a solderless build and this flight controller is supported by a SpeedyB app so in case if you want to use the black box functionality or you want to change the settings on this particular flight controller or you want to flash the firmware you can you do that with your mobile phone without even touching a PC other than that this flight controller also allows you to change the ESC uh, motor direction as well and overall if you value these features then this is the best flight controller which you can get and in case for you these features are not important then there are some better options as well and that's it for today i hope you guys like this in case this video was really helpful for you please consider subscribing to this channel it really helps me a lot thank you guys